Hey friends, welcome back to my channel. I hope you guys like that little intro. So I received some coffee from a coffee company called Coffee Co. And if you saw in the beginning of the video, it comes in a pack of a bunch of like little mini coffee cups, which is so cute. And I ended up receiving a dark one, medium and light. And you can mix it with either water like ice you can make ice um, coffee with these or you can do hot coffee like I did I'm not a big huge um, ice coffee drinker or I believe it's the dark one one of these you can actually mix with soda actually it's the light one the light cold brew you can actually mix with soda so that is interesting um i'm also not a soda drinker so i couldn't tell you but as far as the medium one which is the one that i tried and i've already had one a cup of these off camera just to make sure that i was gonna like it and it tastes really good now I did add my sweetener to it or my coffee creamer, which has sweetener in it. So, um, you know, by itself, I, it's not really sweet, but it tastes. So I'm going to tell you what mine tastes like with the medium one. It kind of tastes like the C's coffee candy lollipops. That's to me is the flavor that I get from it. So I really like it. Um, I think these are great for traveling as well. Um, I did receive also this one here. It's the American black coffee. Um, it is obviously in Chinese or Japanese type um, scriptures, so I really don't know. I haven't tried any of these, but these look like just regular um, pouches. So I just opened it up to see what it looks like, but I haven't tried this one. I think this was kind of like a freebie that they threw in, but this is the one that I tried. It comes with 24 single serve packs. And honestly, guys, I love the packaging and I might just keep the cups after I'm done using them and um, fill them up with like little goodies and send in Happy Mail like during fall time and winter time. I think they would be the cutest thing. So I will leave their links down below if you guys are interested in checking out this company. And uh, let's go on with the haul that I have to share with you. So it's really not a big haul. Um, I went to the thrift store and I always enjoy watching thrifting videos. And I always comment on the ones that I do watch that I can just never find anything. My stores are overpriced and just can never find anything. So I ended up picking up one item. It's this cute little floral tin. Um, adorable. I thought I would maybe like use this to maybe put pre-made cards. Um, I don't do a whole lot of cards. It's my least craft paper craft to do, but, um, I needed like a nice area or nice, um, container to put them in so I can just grab them as a go. Also, if I receive cards that are not signed and are re-giftable, because I love receiving those as well, because I can re-gift them, um, I can put them in here. So, I ended up getting this and a pair of like swim trunks for my son. I always kind of like skim through like the kids section or young adults. And um, I walked out paying $7. It was like a little under $8. You guys, I didn't complain about the price. I didn't even look at my receipt. My The shorts didn't even have the price tag on them. So I walked out paying, you know, $7, whatever. I'm like, oh, okay, I'm going to look at the receipt as I'm walking out. I paid $4 for this tin. Can you believe that? $4. I paid less for the shorts. So that's why I don't like to shop at my thrift stores because one, I don't find anything. Two, they are overly priced. And this was like at a good wheel. Um, I think the shorts that I bought, they're name brand trunks, uh, swim trunks for my son. So they were worth the $7. <laughs> dollars that I paid but as far as this tin no this thing should have been like a dollar um I don't know but anyways that is the story for my thrift store shopping that's why I don't do hauls that on um, those type of things but I got that I went to the 99 and I ended up picking up some of this foam mounting tape I always get that um there and I really like it so I ran out so I needed another one of those and then from the 99 I went to Walmart to pick up a couple things um for my nieces and nephews Easter baskets and I found this ribbon here super cute I love that it has like the gold heart and these were actually only a dollar I was very surprised I think they were priced more but when I rang them up I just used the self um, checkout they were only a dollar so I was excited about that 
then um, I ended up picking up some of their Rick Rack, and these were actually more than those. These were a dollar twenty-four, I think. So I got the pink, um, white, and yellow colors that I like to use during summertime and spring crafting. So I went ahead and got those. So that is all that I got from Walmart. And then I wanted to share with you guys um, my Disney journal. I had shared uh, my journal or the cover that I wanted to start. Um, I had gotten it from what is that company called? I have the paper, the Fairytale Club. And I have a bunch of paper that I called before. And um, strictly, um, this is got this just for myself that I wanted to use for my crafting or my journal. And um, since I'm starting to work on it, since I'm finally going to go back to Disney in June, um, I wanted to work on it. So what I decided to do was um, document every time I go, um, write the year. So I wanted to do, I got this like acetate sheet from my, I believe it was my birthday challenge. I don't know who gave it to me, but I was in love when they sent it to me because I was like, yes, this is something that I'm definitely going to use. Um, it didn't have holes, so I had to do the holes myself. I added the um, pastel um, reinforcers there. And then I wanted to do the first sheet as a shaker. I got these shaker bits from Allie. They have the heart, and then you can also see midden, uh, midden, hidden Mickey heads, is what I meant to say. And then this washi here was also gifted to me, and it also has Mickey in there. Everything about this journal is going to be Disney inspired. So, um, I ended up fusing, um, parts of the pockets, or not pockets, but, um, uh, protector sheet, just so the sprinkles and stuff wouldn't fill all the way to the bottom so when I have this um, shut that you can see the sprinkling part and right now it's pretty um, thin because there's not much in here but this is the starting point and so yeah I added some rickrack ribbon here I added these little Mickey heads that were also gifted to me and then so here is the first page and it just says Disneyland 2022 um, cause that's when we are going, we were supposed to go, um, the last time we were supposed to go was right before COVID hit. So we haven't gone back for two years. So I am dying to go, um, last year instead of going to Disneyland because there was still a lot of, um, I don't even know if it was open last summer or not, but it was just too many rules still with the masks and all that. So, and a lot of things weren't open. Um, so I didn't want to waste my money to, you know, go and not enjoy the full full experience so we ended up going to Hawaii which was an awesome alternative and um, but this year we are going to Disneyland going back finally with our friends and family and then we also booked a trip to Cabo um, in July so that is going to be another fun experience but um, yeah so anyways this is my first page and it says Disneyland 2022 and what I plan on doing and this is all paper these papers were also gifted to me along with that acetate sheet. So again, I don't know who sent it to me, but I am in love. And, um, so yeah, with these, I'm planning on just, um, taking pictures like I normally do and then printing out like little two by three, like wallet size pictures and putting, um, gluing them down, you know, pretty much like I would do like a normal scrapbook. I just don't scrapbook. Um, and, um, you know, write a little story about it. And that's why I have all these cut apart and stickers. I have Disney stickers and all that. So, um, so I did that and then I have this vellum sheet and I added another cut apart in between. I did seal the top and bottom, but I left this side, um, open because I'm not sure if I'm going to do this as a shaker, um, as well. And then here's more paper. Again, I can do, you know, something on the outside, inside, and then the other side. Here's another vellum piece. Again, I added another sheet here. This is like the teacups. And then more um, paper sheets. And then here is another paper sheet. And the, or sheet. And then I have, like I said, all kinds of extra paper here. This is all Disney. So I'm really excited about that. So... My question for you guys was, I don't know, I'm kind of like stuck with, um, what should I do with 
the album. Should I leave it this color, guys, or should I paint it? Like, I was either thinking of um, painting it like one of those. Well, let me take this page off. Like, either like a pink or like this teal blue green color, seafoam color. Um, you know, I don't know. I'm thinking about either going with those two. Not purple, not yellow, but maybe one of those. What do you guys think? Should I paint this or just leave it as is? That's where I'm stuck with this. But this thing is heavy duty and it expands. So this is going to be awesome. So every time I go, I'm going to put down the year, um, pictures. I'll definitely like share this with you guys as I keep going with it. But really, really love it. So um, that is my album that I got that I plan on using. And then this is something that I've had for quite some time. It's a little bit different. This is a journal. I did end up getting this. Um, or I would say a Traveler's Notebook is the correct term for this. I got it on Alley, and I just have like a bunch of tassels and keychains that people have sent me throughout the years. Um, this one is different. This one I use, like I basically glue, kind of like a glue book, I guess. Um, I glue um, anything that I received from you guys or anything that I got from going on my trips, um, pieces of paper, tickets, um, sticky notes, stickers, anything. So I just kind of glue it down. So here are some sticky notes that I got from, I think the Disney store have them in there. And this one says, and they lived happily ever after. So I just have a bunch of stickers that I've received. And I don't know if I've ever showed this to you guys on my channel. So, um, little pockets and you guys have to understand this is something I started years ago, so it doesn't look like to perfection. I have some washi samples here that was gifted to me. Keep that there. Um, Disneyland resort probably came from like a brochure, some more stickers, tickets, or the photo pass. So things like that, I'm going to be, I add in here when I go. See, these are part of like postcards and things that I've received or gotten when I go on my trips. Um, here's another like fast pass. When was this one? Does it say 2018? So we usually go to Disney like once or twice a year. Um, you can see this is all part of things that I've, you know, park maps. Here's more. What is this? Pixar Fest. Um, self-parking. Just these are pages from Disney books that I've received. More, um, you know, papers and brochures. I got these like cool little um, paper clips from Allie. So super cute. Washi samples of all the ones that I have that are Disney. A lot of them are from Dyson that were gifted for me. Here's um, tag gifted from Alicia Acosta. This was in 2017. So you can tell like some things are um, not. These are tags right here. So those are obviously gifted from her. So these are um, Christmas tags that were gifted to me. So I'm not sure who sent me those. I just have to kind of keep it to remind myself to write down who sent it to me because that's one of the things I forgot to do. Here's some other images that I received <clears throat> or I've gotten at the park. More like little embellishments, Disney embellishments, more embellishments that I've received. So some of like my flat embellishments that are Disney related that I received from you guys, I will put in here as well. So again, I just have to write down who sent it to me these are pretty recent i know someone sent me that and i don't know if it was actually disney related but it kind of gave me disney vibes so i added it in there um let's see oh i kind of wrote like a little um thing here about when covid happened and canceled our trip and yeah so it's like my last page and then this is another pocket that was made and that is it and then the rest is still empty i got plenty of more pages to add and then this was also gifted to me I don't know who this was kind of recent too and it just has like the mini head stickers little charm um there's like a little sequence mix so I just added that um in here to the side pocket and then this pin um that I believe was probably gifted to me as well it has like these little charms so yeah, that is my um, little TN here that I have. 
<clears throat> excuse me, but I wanted to go ahead and share that with you guys. So comment down below what you guys would do um, with this. If you would leave it as is or if you would um, paint it. Um, I would love to know because I'm kind of stuck on that idea. I'm not sure. And uh, thank you guys all so much for watching. Again, I'll leave the information to the coffee. I need to start drinking it before it gets cold. And um, I guess I will see you in my next video. All right, guys. Take care.